Go yeah. in, yeah. yes, go in, over well, there. We Cow number 367 is having a hard time adjusting to it, but it's also a world premiere it's entering, along with the other 100 organic co-workers in the field. It can now decide for itself when it wants to be milked. I have worked a lot with cattle farms and heard that they had some problems with grazing because the grazing fields were often far from the farm. Still, the farmers wanted to work with robots because it might save them a lot of time. Then we thought of bringing the robot to the field where the cows were grazing. Organic farmers are especially enthusiastic about the 10 ton invention, not just because it can be moved inside during the winter, but now they do not need to bring the cows home from the field for milking. It makes everyday life easier. It provides the farmer with some tools for relief in milking two times a day every day. Thus, the president is convinced that the world premier will boost the number of organic farmers. I think it might lead to additional farmers. It provides some opportunities. For five years, researchers, technicians and farmers have worked on the robot. Alarm from speaking computer. But it is not only the cows that are not quite ready. The prototype has secretly been tested by farmer Brian Madsen. Why don't you go in? It has already become easier to be an organic farmer. This means that I am attending a one-year birthday party in the kindergarten this afternoon. And that is at 5 p.m. Previously, we had to milk from 4 to 6 p.m. We do not have to do that now. Even though it is very skeptic, Cow number 367 finally successfully completes the world premiere. Then it all ends here, and there is 4,000 litres of prime quality milk for the consumer.